outspoken presenter Piers Morgan has thanked Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle for his rant on Good Morning Britain which helped him to top the Ofcom complaints list in 2021. Earlier this year, Meghan sat down for a tell-all interview with TV legend Oprah Winfrey where she spoke openly about the royal family and the treatment she received from the The Firm. After the ITV program aired, Piers, 56, had plenty to say the following day. However his remarks regarding Meghan and Prince Harry sparked 54,595 Ofcom complaints, making it the most complained about moment of the year. Responding to the news on Twitter, Piers wrote, Delighted to have perpetrated the most complained about moment on UK TV for 2021. Especially because every single one of the absurd complaints was rejected. Thanks Princess Pinocchio, he exclaimed. Piers' response certainly caused his legions of fans to also chime in on the matter as they quickly replied to his controversial tweet. One fan wrote, To be delighted by being the most complained about person makes you one sad excuse of humanity. Another said, Why would you be delighted about that? To be fair it actually speaks volumes about your character and morals when you praise yourself for the most complained about moment on UK TV for 2021. What a fail, and totally weird. But some followers were happy with Piers win, with one Twitter user commenting, Thank you Piers for speaking the truth. While another added, I am with you on this Piers. No time for Meghan and Harry at all now and Harry used to be my favorite royal. In March, Piers stormed off the GMB set and quit the show after ITV received several complaints regarding the remarks he made concerning the interview and Meghan's mental health. Meghan herself also made a formal complaint to Ofcom, but Piers was later cleared by the television regulatory after it concluded that he did not breach the broadcasting code. Adam Baxter, who is the director for Standards and Audience Protection also defended the decision that was made. In September he said, The judgments we make each day are often finely balanced, such as our highest profile case this year. Piers Morgan's comments on Good Morning Britain in the wake of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's interview with Oprah Winfrey. But, given the importance of the right to freedom of expression, we only step in or take action against a broadcaster when we consider it necessary. This year we concluded 33 investigations and recorded 20 breaches of our rules. Many of these cases were about hate speech or harmful, scientifically unfounded coronavirus misinformation. Another news, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, both 39, spent a glamorous evening surrounded with A-listers at London's Royal Albert Hall on Sunday. It was set to be a fun event, with a much-expected performance by Sir Rod Stewart. However, it is thought Prince William was concerned he and Kate might be the target of some of the comedian's lines. After watching the show, which was pre-recorded in November, it is said William told comedians he was relieved he had dodged being the center of their jokes. Judy Love, Bill Bailey, Chris McCausland and Josh Whittacombe were among those who took the stage. Mr. Whittacombe told, William mentioned he was happy that I hadn't made any gags about him. He added, I was worried because I had mentioned him at the start. I was delighted by that but I think he has misjudged me as a much more dangerous comic than I am. Meanwhile, Alan Carr, who hosted the event made headlines as he did mention the Cambridges in a joke complimenting Kate. Addressing Prince William, he claimed, Sir, I am sure you do not know who I am. But I am not hitting on your wife. The comedian, 45, has been married to Paul Drayton since 2018. Kate wore a Jenny Packham long-sleeved sequined green gown and gold earrings. She was previously spotted in the same outfit during her tour to Pakistan back in 2019. The Cambridges also enjoyed performances from Ed Sheeran. Elvis Castello, Gregory Porter, and James Blunt. The still fragile situation between the firm and the Sussexes, who stepped back from their royal duties in March 2020, the Queen's health scares, and Prince Andrew's ongoing lawsuit were all left out by the night's stars. With a turbulent year for the palace coming to an end, it would have been a blow for William and Kate to hear their family's problems be the subject of the show. Body language expert and author Judy James told she spotted some signs the royal couple was loving their night out. Ms. James said, There is an undeniable twinkle in William's eye here that suggests an air of anticipation and excitement that has often been lacking in royal body language at these events in the past. His hand rubbing gesture as he walks towards the theater is a signal of enthusiasm as though he can't wait to get in there and see the show.